parents share their Apple IDs with their children who have iPads or smartphones. But Apple is discouraging parents from doing that. Jamie Tucker has more. A lot of parents let their young child use their iPad, or maybe they give them an old iPhone to use. But the devices are signed in with the parent's Apple ID. That sounds convenient because the parent can monitor what the child is doing online. But it's also a very bad idea. Here's why. If a child uses their parent's Apple ID on their own device, they can see your text messages and content. They can see passwords, payment details. They have access and can accidentally delete photos from the iCloud forever. And if they share the Apple ID password with one of their friends, well, it puts your privacy at risk as anyone with that information might be able to log into your Apple account without you knowing it. If you're sharing an Apple ID with anyone, particularly children, there's a better and safer option. Let them get their own Apple ID. Now, children under 13 cannot create their own Apple ID, but you can set up one for them in family sharing. On your iPhone or Mac, go to settings and look for family. Tap the icon at the top of the page and then create child account. Follow the directions. Now, parents can still restrict and monitor what kids can do by setting up parental controls that automatically restricts adult content and requires the kids to ask for permission to purchase something. And when the child turns 13, they can use their own Apple ID with or without parental controls. Bottom line, having their own Apple ID is good not only for the kids, but for the parents and reduces the risk of identity theft or just personal information getting into the wrong hands. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.